Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're talking to you about the area of Sandy Springs, but uh, more from an investment standpoint. Um, and so, you know, whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest here in the North Atlanta area, or you're only looking at investing in Sandy Springs as a whole, there's a ton that we need to unpack today as far as is Sandy Springs a great place to invest? And so that's what we're going to do today. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't yet, tapped into the videos and this is the very first video that you're watching welcome uh, but make sure you tap that subscribe button and that you hit the bell for the notifications so that you don't miss a single video about living here in north atlanta and uh, yeah we're gonna get right into it now So one of the reasons that uh, Sandy Springs definitely makes a solid investment is because of all the recent development here. So first and foremost, we talk, you know, new development. What does that really mean? What does it look like? What's been developed, right? So uh, we're in an area called Aria here that's been developed by Ashton Woods, by Mercedes Benz, and by a, a multifamily developer here as well. So you kind of, you kind of get everything here. You get a little bit of office, a little bit of commercial and a little bit of residential, uh, both fee simple, so townhomes, single family homes, uh, as well as some condos, uh, but then you do have multifamily in here as well. I would call it true luxury <laughs> apartment living um, because, or, or multifamily living, because compared to what I lived in in uh, high school or you know college age, um, that was not luxury. They called it luxury, but it was not luxury compared to some of the newer developments here in Atlanta. But we're just gonna kind of walk you through a couple of different areas here talk a little bit about multifamily a little bit about commercial and a little bit about residential because as, as a whole we haven't seen a ton of new development until the past probably three to five years here so we're going to show you a little more about sandy springs here but we're also going to kind of walk you through some of the new development and run it by the numbers as well there's been a huge huge investment made into this city over the last five years so we're going to show you all of these different areas now Okay, so this is Aria. So that's Aria North. This is Aria South. Um, as I said before, this is the Ashton Woods development. Um, so you can see a couple different uh, like little retail commercial spaces here. Um, you've got gyms, you've got a coffee shop, you've got a uh, Mexican restaurant, you've got um, townhomes over here. So this is all obviously walkable. I mean, it's just about 100 yards or so from some of these doorsteps over here. Um, over to, you know, this this Mexican restaurant over here. So again, Aria South. So we're south of um, Abernathy, but if, um, if we swing back around here, this is the Alistair. So this whole line here is all multifamily. Um, so it's a new or newer, um, you know, apartment complex uh, where they've just built, you know, here in the last say three years. Um, and then over there to the right or to the east, is uh, the Mercedes-Benz headquarters. So that's 400 straight up there and uh, Abernathy here to our left. So as we circle around, um, these are again, all the parking decks and stuff for this apartment complex. You can really, you know, you can't really see this stuff from the street. So visually it's a really nice, I'll give you a different view here, but it's a really nice aesthetic. Um, again, especially for being new construction, it doesn't look like an apartment complex. Um, which I, I really like. And I know that a lot of the homeowners and stuff had a lot to say about that when these were being developed. But um, this is uh, the Mercedes-Benz headquarters here, uh, their main entry over here. Uh, it looks like a lot of their folks have made it back to work over here, working uh, actually from the office. Um, again, all of this land, I, was, I think it was about 75 acres or so, uh, has been developed here in the last three years. But you, there's the parking deck. You can't really see it from Abernathy or even, you know, the main streets out there. Um, but uh, but this just gives you an idea of, you know, just one development here in Sandy Springs that's been done recently here. So, you know, all in all, this piece of dirt here, I think was sold for about $90 million, which is over a million dollars an acre. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, and don't quote me on this, but I think it's about 1,200 total units. So you have the single family homes over here, you have the townhomes here, you have more single family and townhomes across the street at Aria North, and then this is Aria South here. So, um, you know, you get a really good mix of, of different types of properties that are all right here. And again, this is the newest development here in Sandy Springs. There's a couple smaller ones that are 
you know, five and 10, uh, 10 unit like townhomes and stuff. But uh, for the most part, these are really the only newer, um, you know, single family homes, if you will, uh, built here in Sandy Springs that are not, you know, one for one infill. So some beautiful homes. These homes go from anywhere from, gosh, 850, 900,000 up to 1.1 million. Um, they, a couple of them do have basements. These aren't all slabs, but um, really, really beautiful neighborhood. I love that one right there. Um, but anyway, so this, this was a major, major investment. So again, about $90 million or so for all this dirt. Um, and that's just to acquire the land itself. And again, the reason that I'm showing you guys this stuff today is because, you know, people want to know more about these areas and they're out, they're constantly asking me about the investment that, you know, big, uh, corporations like Mercedes Benz and big developers like Ashton Woods here in Atlanta have made in the local area. Right. Um, and also as a, you know, as a stakeholder, as a community member, you you also want to make sure that your investment is protected. Right. Um, so as another example, there's, um, a, an apartment complex just across the street here, um, on Abernathy that just sold for $105 million. So, 389 unit uh, multifamily apartment living. Um, I think if I remember correctly, they built them sometime in the late 70s. So these are the older garden style, definitely not luxury apartments. But if you take that 105 million, divide it by the 389 units, that leaves you with a purchase price of about $271,000 per unit. And a lot of these are one and two bedrooms. I think they've mixed in a couple three bedrooms there as well. But I mean, you're talking an average of $271,000. So when an apartment costs nearly $300,000, you can imagine a single family home or even a town home at least being $450,000, $500,000 every day of the week. Um, and I'll show you another uh, couple of apartment complexes that have been built here recently. Um, and we're talking about, I mean, almost a billion dollars totally invested here in the Sandy Springs area. And so again, as a homeowner, as an investor, as a community member, um, you know, you're, if you're questioning, is anything happening, is our, our, our developments happening and not just residential, commercial, you know, retail, all of it is that, is that type of stuff being done because you ultimately want to see development, uh, in an area that you're investing in. All right. So now we just turned off of Boylston onto Hildebrand here. So this is Hildebrand here. Um, so you see this new apartment development. So this is about six acres in here, uh, a little over 300 units, if I remember correctly, 350, I think maybe. Um, but you see the pedestrian bridges and these are averaging anywhere from 2,500 to $3,500 a month. And again, much more, uh, luxurious feeling. <laughs> than uh than what i was in in college but again a kind of a residential and commercial vibe here you know, they've got a couple um you know a, a coffee shop a nail salon a couple of restaurants down here as well and then this is a whole separate development across the street here um this is called the adley at city spring so again totally separate about the same size actually i think this one might be even a little bit larger uh, but you see you've got a bank of america there here on the corner um, and I believe this one may have actually been over 400 units. I think between the three that were built here um, near City Springs, you've got about 1,200 units. So, um, and then you've got these townhomes here as well. But again, all this right, right here in the heart of, of the middle of uh, Sandy Springs here, right near City Springs. And, uh, and so again, you see they, they kind of hide, you know, the, the parking deck back here, but also the service entry there. Um, and uh, it just gives you a really good sense that, you know, between these three, these three developments, I think it was like $300 million was invested. And then finally up here at Hammond and Roswell. So we're taking a right off of Hammond going north on the Roswell Road. This development here with the restaurants again down below. Uh, this one was actually done first. So I think you have a little over 200 units here. Um, and then another four or 500 units here. And then another three to 400 units. So again, 12, 1100, 1200 units total in these three developments. And again, right along the Roswell uh, Road corridor here. But I think about $300 million by the time you figure in the retail and commercial components as well as the residential. I mean, some of this land has just gone absolutely berserk in terms of, you know, uh, the investment that it takes. And then, of course, the final piece here that kind of started this whole 
this whole thing is city springs so we'll pull in here real quick um so this is about a 13 acre uh parcel before and it had a target actually sitting about right here um that uh, that used to occupy this space but now this is city springs so you have the uh, amphitheater over here with the performing arts center you have a city bar here you have the box office uh for the city over there um what's really really cool not just about all these water features and stuff um and and of course the park out here but the city hall mayor's office and everything is here but if we go down into the park there's actually a three-story parking deck underneath this entire um parcel and so you can go down two different ways there's one entrance right over here and then there's another one that we passed at the other entrance but again restaurants coffee shop gyms i mean you got everything literally right here right here at your fingertips and then you've got uh, some condo and townhome type living stuff here and then more multifamily over here so again by the time you add up these four four or five developments just right here in downtown sandy springs we're talking about well over a billion dollars invested um so again if you're if you're looking for an area that's been developed or redeveloped this is definitely one of the things to consider and then here's the other side of city springs so again you have the apartment complex there and then all the city offices over here but uh, just a really nice job that they've done with all of this so yeah really really nice and this is what you want to see you want to see investment being made so anytime a city or a municipality a county whatever decides to make a substantial investment like city springs there uh, you can always expect private money to kind of follow and the reason that is is because a city or a municipality you know government <laughs> they pretty much have endless pockets right and they can do whatever they want even city springs or sandy springs here even though they're a, pri a private public uh, partnership um, they they basically took out a ton of bonds to create this space and they're not even done yet I mean they're just now um, putting kind of phase two of this program or plan in place um, but whenever you see a municipality like this take take massive action on a development like this and we've seen this all across North Atlanta by the way downtown Roswell has done the same thing North Alpharetta or Alpharetta has done the same thing with kind of reimagining you know their downtown area um, even cities that are newer like Johns Creek and Peachtree Corners, they're starting to invest, you know, back into the city. They understand that, you know, in order to have a vibrant community, you have to have some sort of heartbeat or center to, um, you know, to a city like this. Um, but you will start to see private entity entities come in and investing a ton of money. And again, we're talking three or four hundred million dollars just with this apartment complexes. That doesn't even account for all of the other commercial development and other residential development that people have brought into the city as a result of that stuff. And while not a lot of people like uh, homeowners like to have apartments in their uh, backyard, you know, those are the people that are going to probably buy your house from you uh, when it's time for you to sell. So, you know, to have people fall in love with an area like Sandy Springs or Alpharetta or wherever, um, you know, is really important. And especially when they're you know, valued at twenty five hundred to three thirty five hundred you know dollars a month. Um, that's not far off from a lot of people's mortgages in this area. So, uh, anyway, we're going to talk a little more about the like one for one infill and why that's also a good investment here in the Sandy Springs area, real quick. And we'll just give you kind of the before and after. So this is definitely after. Uh, beautiful home. This is one of my favorite homes in Sandy Springs, by the way. Um, but something like that that used to be you know fifteen hundred square feet or so as you can see here has been torn down and then they'll rebuild something that's three, four or 5,000 square feet. So again, a smaller one, a smaller one. We are starting to see a few more of these where people will come and they'll completely reface the entire building with, you know, a brick stone exterior or something like that and then take it down to the studs. Um, but again, all original there, all original there. Uh, you have a tear down or a one for one infill here. This is a newer construction home here um and then an old one there but uh but yeah that's happening a lot more often here and that's why the prices have just skyrocketed in this area because you have a lot of these older homes that you know even this one up here on the left is a really good example so this used to be you know i think like a 2000 maybe 2200 square foot house and then they added another floor to it there and you've got a really modern uh modern one up here on the corner that, uh, that just got finished. But I mean, you know, you're now talking over a million dollars 
when the property here is worth you know four or five hundred thousand dollars just for one of these lots and then you build for six or seven or eight hundred thousand dollars that's you know that's the end result uh, as a super modern uh, or even or contemporary and then a little more contemporary over here as well so um, anyway that's kind of what's going on here and again you know this is what makes an area worth investing in so if you see a lot of houses getting torn down you know that's typically a pretty good indicator and and obviously a lot of this dep depends on the purchase price of the land you know what it's gonna what's gonna be built there ultimately but this is another one of my absolute favorite kind of that modern farmhouse vibe to it there absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and i actually like the painted brick i know i know a lot of people don't like it but uh but anyway so that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on in the sandy springs area as far as redevelopment goes as always though if you guys have any questions or if this has intrigued you or made you think about you know your area or you know a particular part of atlanta um you know and the investment that you're making into a particular area or a particular neighborhood a city um, reach out anytime you can always find all of our contact info down below you can also schedule a zoom with us uh, if you'd like to do that as well so whether you're here in the atlanta area already whether you're thinking about making a move to the atlanta area uh, feel free to reach out anytime answer we'll help answer any questions you've got uh, help address any concerns that you might have as well um, but uh, anytime you see this amount of development happening it's a good sign and values are only headed up so whenever you see a stagnant area um, or an area that's not being redeveloped typically that's a pretty good indicator that prices will not continue to climb quite as uh, quite as quickly as maybe another area that is so hope this was uh, helpful though and uh, again as always if there's ever anything that we can do for you to help you out with your decision on uh, real estate reach out anytime we'll talk to you soon bye bye